सब्सक्राइब कीजिए डेंटल गुरु जी को दबाइए बेल आइकॉन और देखिए हमारी वीडियो सबसे पहले और यह है हंड्रेड परसेंट फ्री बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ टूथ कार्विंग इट इज नो सीक्रेट दैट टूथ कार्विंग इज द बेस्ट मेथड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टूथ मोफोलॉजी एंड एवरीबडी नोज दैट टूथ कार्विंग हेल्प्स इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टूथ मोफोलॉजी विच कम्स वेरी हैंडी इन क्लिनिकल डेंटल प्रैक्टिस द आर्मामेंटेरियम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर टूथ कार्विंग आर द फर्स्ट थिंग इज द वैक्स ब्लॉक्स द वैक्स ब्लॉक्स come in various colors and they are made up of paraffin wax and the dimension is usually 4 cm into 1.25 cm into 1.25 1.25 cm next we need a metallic scale which gives uh, centimeters and millimeters uh, measurements then the carver this is called lacrum carver the instrument is a two sided working end that means double working end is there and this part is your handle and it is serrated to help in gripping the instrument then this part and this part is the neck of the cup and the working end two working ends are there the first working end is called the knife shaped working end which is having a a blunt side and the working side that is the sharp Knife for uh, each uh, side, and this is the straight part of the working end. This is the curved part of the working end. For all practical purposes, most of the time we use the straight part of the working end, and this curved part is often used for occlusal curve. And this part, that is the spoon-shaped working end, which is having a sharp uh, the end of the spoon, that is often used only for carving the. occlusal grooves and for lingual fossa so these are the armamentarium now coming to what are the general principles of carving before tooth carving we should understand two important things one is instrument grasp how to hold the instrument if the operator is a right handed person then the instrument is held in the right hand and the block is held in the the supporting or the left hand. now how we use to hold the pen that is called pen grasp this is a pen grasp but for carving we use something called the modified pen grasp how is it modified it is modified such that enough pressure can be given with the pad of the third finger which is held at the neck of the carver so it is held like this this is called modified pen grasp so this is about the grasp of the instrument how to stabilize the instrument that is called instrument stabilization unless we have a stabilized hand then we won't achieve the proper carve for that we use the remaining two fingers the operating hand so that it can be rested on the fingers of the supporting hand or the non operating hand so this is how we you hold the lock and with these two extra fingers the operating hand you just place on the fingers of the other hand so that you rest so this is called finger on finger rest or sometimes we can rest on the block itself by carving so this is called finger on block rest so we use finger rest for stabilization of the instrument so before carving any tooth there are some uh things to verify and first thing is we should check that all the surfaces of the block are smooth and they are not having any air bubbles now preliminary some preliminary markings can be done before this applies to all to carving whether it is we are carving the incisor canine premolar or molar first we measure the crown of that particular tooth we are going to carve and mark this part this part becomes the crown part and the root length we mark and this part becomes the root part and the remaining part of the block becomes the base so we extend the length of the crown on all the surfaces and length of the root on all the surfaces and this becomes the root part and the remaining part is our base part and 
labial surface, lingual surface, mesial and distal surfaces are marked on the base of the block. So it is marked like this. Then it is a good practice to mark midline on all the surfaces like this. And when we come to the crown, it can be divided into three parts. So incisal or occlusal third, middle third and the cervical third. Again, it can be extended on all the surfaces. Now the block is completely ready for beginning of the carving. So these are about the basic principles of tooth carving.